Hello, today we will be using geography to help you decide where to go during a zombie invasion. Zombie invasion. Specifically, using physical features, climate, vegetation, population density, and economic activities. These are physical features, landforms and bodies of water. The bodies of water are blue and the landforms aren't. All of these have advantages and disadvantages and it's up to you to decide the best one. This is one of the thematic maps we'll be looking at today. This map shows you physical features. It also shows elevation. Elevation is how high something is from sea level. This map also shows you highlands, mountains, lakes, oceans, plateaus, and basins, to name a few physical features. Here is an example of two different types of landforms. On your left, you have highlands, and on the right, you have mountains. On your left is a plateau, and on your right is a basin. There are many more physical features to choose from, but these are just a few examples. In this slide, the left represents fresh water and the right represents salt water. There are many types of bodies of water for you to choose from during a zombie invasion. Zombie invasion. This is a climate map. Climate is a type of weather over a long period of time. Some climates are hot while some are cold. It's up to you to decide the best one for you during a zombie invasion. Zombie invasion. You can see two types of climates represented in this slide. On your top is hot and wet. On your bottom is cold and dry. The upper slide is hot and dry while the lower slide is cool and wet. There are many more types of climates to choose from during a zombie invasion. Zombie invasion. This is a vegetation map. A vegetation map shows different types of plants that grow around the world. Different plants only grow in certain types of climates, as we will see later. As you can see, a mixed forest and a temperate grassland have completely different types of vegetation. This is because they have different climates. Some areas don't have any vegetation. Would you like to stay there during a zombie invasion? Zombie invasion. This map shows population density. Population is how many people live in a certain area. On this map, the darker the color, the more people live in a certain area. A large population density has many, many people in a small area. A small population density only has a few people in a very large area. This map shows economic activities. Economic activities are what people do to make money and live. People often use natural resources or things that come from the earth in everyday use. Here you can see two main types of economic activities. Commercial activities provide goods and services for many, many, many people. Subsistence activities provides goods and services for a family or local level. We can also take things from inside the earth, such as metal, coal, oil, or gas, as you can see here. These are a few examples of natural resources, or things that come from the earth that we use. Natural resources can be plants, animals, water, or even diamonds. Which ones would you like to have during a zombie invasion? Zombie invasion. This is a map of regions of the world. All the regions of the world have different names, but they also share other differences. Do you know what they are? The differences are physical features, climate, vegetation, population densities, and economic activities. Each one of these things can help you decide where to go during a zombie invasion.